John, thanks for agreeing to be interviewed by us today. Can I start off by asking you what is it that you actually do as a volunteer? Uh, I'm chair of St Mary Cray Country Market. Okay. So we're a, a small market, part of the Country Markets organisation. And what we try and do is bring local, locally produced food and uh, craft products to the, to the community. Right, OK. And how long has that been running? Uh, our particular market has been running about four years, but the organisation much longer than that. Right. And, and what are the particular aspects of, of the market do you get involved in specifically? Uh, well, I'm sort of chair of the committee. That There's a role for the committee you know, to right. make important decisions about the market. But we all get involved in the day-to-day -day running. Uh, there's a lot to do when, when you're selling food to the general public. There's a lot of legislation you have to obey, a lot of country markets policy that we agreed to abide by and uh, you know other processes like running any business I suppose. Okay and how many volunteers um, help with the market? It varies from week to week but generally you know each week there'll be four, five, six or more volunteers right. plus the people who've come to sell their produce, producers as we call them. Right. And is it a popular event here in Orpington? We try and make it so. Yeah. <laughs> it seems to vary. Uh, I think we could honestly say that um, we've noticed the recession along with other high street stores, you know. Um, uh, but we try, like today, we try and make a, a big promotion from time to time. Right. So t today, for example, is part of, is we're in British Food Fortnight today. Right, okay. So, of course, that fits very neatly in with our... Um, ethos of local food, locally produced food, right. um, and this, that's why you've seen the Union Jacks in the hall right. and we were all wearing these I hats. I wondered why you were wearing the hats. <laughs> very dashing it is too. <laughs> Thank you very much. I might take it off now okay. before it blows away. <laughs> so can you tell me how long you personally have been volunteering? Uh, in, in, for, in, in this organisation about four years when we, okay. when we set it up. And how much of your time does your current volunteering role take up? Uh, a fair amount, I would say. I suppose if I averaged it up, if I told it up over the week, it would be, you know, it would be a day a week. I, I, I do work, uh, I'm self-employed at the moment as well, so I sort of work the rest of my time. But it does, being self-employed does allow me to schedule my volunteering time along with my work time, if you see what I mean. Yeah. And how do you think that the voluntary work that you do has impacted on your local community? Uh, it's a, it's a small contribution, but there are there are little highlights in it. Um, I think one of the things myself and other people, because it's it's not just our organisation, there are lots of other sort of community groups uh, in the area in St Mary Cray, and one of the things I feel most proud of. A few years ago, we persuaded Bromley Council to run a Christmas lights switch on event in St Mary Cray. They've never had one before. And other parts of the borough traditionally did, and we said, well. You know, what about it? Why don't we have one here? We've got a, we've got a lovely venue. We've got a village green. Let's do it, and we did. And uh, you know, I overheard somebody say, "We've never had Christmas lights before," and so I think that was, that was a small thing in itself, but it did help the community feel good about itself. Yeah. Perhaps. And um, how do you think that the volunteering has had an impact on your life? <laughs> It, uh, it does take up time, it's hard work. At the end of a market I arrive home absolutely shattered. But uh, it's very enjoyable and you meet, you meet some great people. Made some wonderful friends here. And we, the, the one thing we, we always have in the market, however good or bad business is, we always have fun, we always have a laugh. You always, you'll hear laughter and you know, happy voices in here. So I think it is people, people find coming along here as customers, volunteers or producers, they find it an enjoyable experience. That's what we always try and do. Yeah. And how would um, somebody that wanted to maybe assist in volunteering this particular project, how would they get involved? Uh, well, but we get a lot of referrals direct from the Bromley Volunteer Centre right. or they can go to our website. If you Google St Mary Cray Country Market, you will find us. Um, so come to us direct or just come along to a market on a Thursday morning. And uh, John, is there ever a time when you think you wish you hadn't volunteered? No, I, absolutely. I, I would say both both volunteering experiences I've done have been really rewarding. So absolutely no regrets. Cool. And what can I buy at the market this oh. morning? <laughs> there's, uh, my money? there's homemade cakes. There's uh, savouries, quiches, delicious quiches. Uh, British produ locally produced meat. Uh, guaranteed totally British uh, and there's, you've seen the, the wonderful fruit and veg down on the yes. stall there and the plants and very good eggs. Um, 
amazing choice of stuff you can buy. Wonderful. I think I'm going to go away with an empty wallet today. Okay. Thank you very much for your time, John. You're welcome.